Hi everyone, today we're going to do a video showing you how to install your key knob cylinder into a kick padlock from Packlock. The first thing you should know is that while the padlocks are the same, we actually have two variations based on the driver that you need for the type of cylinder you're going to install. And what I mean by that is, we worry about is it a screw-on style cap, for instance like this one from Schlage, or would it be more of a slotted or a crosshatch type pattern style driver needed for this one like from Abloy or a Medico. So what we'll start with today is a Schlage style that's got the screw on cap. The first thing to keep in mind is yes you need to remove the tailpiece that comes with the cylinder straight from the factory. Once you do that you're going to get your pack lock out of the package and find there's no loose parts anywhere. Instead what's inside is your cylinder retainer and then the screw that it's needed to retain the cylinder into the padlock is actually underneath the shackle already. So after you've removed the tailpiece from your cylinder, like we have on this one, slide the barrel plug or cylinder retainer over the cylinder. Go ahead and install it now into the padlock. Simply slide it in and now give it a little jiggle to make sure it seats flush. And then once it does, the padlock's ready to unlock. Turn it so it's right facing up, unlock the padlock, and what you're going to find now inside is the Hallen head screw. So go ahead and take your wrench, tighten it up, nice and snug. Give it a quick test or two, make sure it's rotating the right direction. By default and by design, your cylinder should never rotate in the counterclockwise orientation to unlock. should always be clockwise 90 degrees. In this case, everything's looking good. I'm ready to close the padlock and test. Good to go. All right, let's go ahead and do the crosshatch pattern now. Same situation, take out my cylinder retainer. And in this case, I'm gonna grab the Medeco core Put the cylinder retainer on so the tapped portion is facing the same way as the back of the cylinder. And once again, simply slide the cylinder in, jiggle it until it gets into location, and then turn the padlock right side up again and unlock it. Simply tighten the screw. Nice and snug. Verify your functionality is correct, and you're ready to go. And that's all. Simple and easy for Packlock. 